A 22-year-old man with hemophilia became the country's first beneficiary of knee surgery with 3D printing technology after doctors in Kuming of southwest China's Yunnan province successfully replaced his knee joints with 3D printed replicas. Jiang, the patient, has spent much of his life in the past two decades in various hospitals since he was diagnosed with the ailment at the age of one. The genetic blood disease, which impairs the human body's ability to stop bleeding due to lack of clotting factors, has deformed his knees and deprived him of ability to walk since he was 10 years old. Doctors said a traditional operation might incur endless bleeding in the operation, so it was not suitable to his case. However, the risk of hemorrhage can be avoided in an operation with 3D printing technology as the artificial 3D printed parts could precisely unite the patient's knees, making the bone setting process of the operation much easier. We first established a 3D model on computer based on his CT image, and then we used the 3D printer to print a thigh bone and a replica, which are identical with the patient's bones. We also plan the bone setting process on computer to ensure the replicas can be implanted precisely. The amount of bleeding during the two-hour operation was less than 300 milliliters and the patient is in stable condition now. Uber Technologies Incorporated co-founder Travis Kalanick stepped down as chief executive of the ride-hailing service following intense pressure from investors. Kalanick's resignation comes after a month-long investigation led by former U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder, who was hired by Uber to investigate its culture and workplace practices after a female former employee publicly accused the company of what she described as brazen sexual harassment. The sense, I think, is that there has been too much scandal at Uber and that uh, it's been st it's started to get to the point where uh, he is himself as CEO and uh, the departure of a few executives at Uber is starting to rub off badly. Um, it's distracting the company from its main mission of becoming the main uh, ride-hailing app um, in the US where uh, Lyft has been gaining some traction and more globally. And so I think probably the sense is that maybe Uber's getting closer to a, a point where it can actually IPO and, and, and maybe uh, Travis was not the man to, to take over that final hurdle. Five large investors, including venture capital firm Benchmark, demanded that the CEO resign immediately in a letter delivered to Kalanick while he was in Chicago. The New York Times reported citing people with knowledge of the situation. It's been largely closed out of China uh, because of local competition and, and that's a risk that um, can happen globally. Uh, in essence, the, the, the software itself is, is uh, quite easy to copy and so if other local companies can gain traction, um, then, then Uber obviously loses its, its overall market share and its dominance. And the downside is that it spreads itself too thin and um, has too many legal problems spread all over the place to really concentrate and focus on its, its main core application. Uh, so there are some things just recently that's added, for example, allowing drivers to receive tips from passengers. That's something Lyft has had in its app for a while and that's an example of how perhaps Uber in its core application got a little bit distracted. Kalanick told employees he will take time away from Uber, part of the series of measures the ride-hailing company is taking to claw its way out from under a mountain of controversy.